What up guys, for Complex News, I'm Frazier, and on Monday, acclaimed director Spike Lee not only murdered our timelines with the release of the Black Klansman trailer, but the film reportedly received a six minute standing ovation after its premiere at Cannes. Lee also delivered a six minute monologue about our current president, Donald Trump, and how he failed to call out the neo-Nazis that were a part of the Charlottesville rally in August of 2017. We have a guy in the White House, I'm not gonna say his f name, who defined that moment not just for Americans, but the world, and that motherfucker was given the chance to say we are about love, not hate. And that motherfucker did not denounce the motherfucking clan, the alt-right, and those Nazi motherfuckers. It was a defining moment, and he could have said to the world, not just the United States, that we were better than that. The Charlottesville rally has a moment in Black Klansmen, as Lee included a montage of footage from the rally featuring the death of Heather Heyer. Lee admitted that he was on the fence about including the scene in the film, but went all the way in when Heyer's mother, Susan Bro, gave him permission. Once I got permission, I said, fuck everybody else, that motherfucking scene is staying in the motherfucking movie, because that was a murder. Black Klansman is based on the story of Ron Stallworth, a black cop who, in the 1970s, infiltrated the Ku Klux Klan. It stars John David Washington, Adam Driver, Topher Grace, and Laura Harrier, and counts Lee, Jordan Peele, and Jason Blum among producers. The film is getting rave reviews and is set to hit theaters on August 10th. We would imagine that Donald Trump won't be attending any screenings. For Complex News, I'm Frazier, and for more stories like this one, keep a like right here to Complex News on YouTube.